well, guys, it is that time. We've got this thing sitting on uh, dirt bike tires on the front, donuts on the back. We got the windshield out. We got the power cable ran. We got the negative grounded. We got the rad looped. We got the coolant looped. We got the power steering looped. We got the wiring and computer moved up there with all grounded out. We got all the airbags out. We're just gonna let this stuff harden up. Ooh, ew. So tomorrow, or the next video, it's probably not gonna be tomorrow because I'm busy tomorrow. We are going to be putting gas tank, battery inside of here. And that's pretty much this thing done. Um, maybe remove those uh, little spike death uh, visors up there, tie the door shut, and then get her out of here. So, I don't know. But this bumper looks damn mean on this thing. Uh, for a minivan, maybe I would have gone a little bit larger, but honestly guys, I really like this thing. I really, really like this bumper, to be honest. And uh, if you guys want one, please message Archambault Derby Supply. Uh, they got me mine, and they can get you theirs too. If you don't live in Canada, the shipping's probably going to be pretty aggressive. But uh, I know that about uh, 78 or 79% of my viewing audience is actually from the USA. So, but here's my plans for the rest of it. Gas tank battery to the floor, very stock. Get rid of most of this wiring because it just unplugs right here. So just pull out as much as I can. Uh, remove all the wiring that goes to the back. As you can see, it runs down these channels. And then get rid of that coolant system because I'm just going to lose all my coolant through that. So quite a bit that we have left to do. But I don't know. Well, guys, we're back here. New day and we're working on this car. So we have already ran the fuel line. Uh, fuel line on this was very easy to find. It was right here. We just joined our line to it. This van does not look like it has a return system, so that means we can save on fuel line. Fuel line's not cheap these days. So we got the fuel line ran. Um, I'm just making a negative cable for the battery. We got the, the battery positive in there. So they both run right through where the airbag was right here. And then we're going to get this thing hopefully running today. So I'd like to... Uh, get a battery in it, negative, hooked up, because i got to make one. I would like to get fuel in the gas tank, get it wired up so that we can get this thing to run. And as soon as it starts to run, then I'm going to start deleting a lot of electrical through this. Slowly unplugging stuff, getting it all deleted, uh, because there is a lot of electrical all the way to the back. And sometimes with these newer vehicles, electrical is enough to take you out. So, I don't want to be taken out for something small for electrical-wise. What we're going to be doing now is just going through... And hooking up the regular stuff. Battery, fuel cables, battery box, all that fun stuff. So let's get going on that. Well guys, I think it's that time. We gotta test some things out. Oh, get the gangster lean out of this thing. There we go. Okay, so there's little things I want to do still. I want to take out this. Uh, these wires here, I gotta like tuck back or something. I didn't really remove as much wiring as I wanted to, but fuel pump on. Fire, we're on fire. driver's side tire it is not turning well it's hard to tell right now but we just had a torrential downpour here so what did we do in the downpour that's right we worked outside um you want know, well, guys want to see how much rain just came down in the last seven minutes that that is how much rain came down in the last seven minutes maybe maybe 10 
I don't know, maybe, maybe half hour. <laughs> I don't care. But we got the Nissan Quest outside. Um, there's still very little that we have to do to it, but there is a couple more things that we got to do it. We just threw a floor mat over top of the, what do you call that, computer. We don't have this side painted, but we have the front painted and we got this side painted. Most of it, some of it. Now we can apply the decals, but we're gonna wait for another day when it's not so rainy. What's left to do to this? One, we have to put coolant in it. Two, we have to clean the rest of this thing out. And just so you guys know, we put a fire extinguisher in this instead of bear mace. So that is a nice check off the list. But as of right now, we just have to tie the rear seat belts, clean up the interior a bit, and this thing is good to derby. So we'll be back and putting some decals on this in the next couple days. So I got a whole bunch of these decals made for my buddies. And they were going to take them to the show, but unfortunately, Steven and Jesse's trucks did not make it to the show. So my buddies, Steven and Jesse, they built their trucks, but unfortunately they didn't get them going in time. I think, I think Steven's truck ended up not running and Jesse had to get a different partner and then they didn't run the decals I got them. So, oh my God, maybe I should have let this thing dry out in the sun a little bit more. So it just did torrential down. Oh my goodness, stop it, stop it, guys. I've been having a rough day today. Things ain't been going great for me. Every time I turn around, I'm getting upset here in the garage. And I figure this would be a great time just to turn around and put a decal on that's gonna look like shit. And it's not the fault of the decal, sorry, not the fault of the person that makes the decal or anything like that. It's just my fault. Because I'm just, I'm like overstimulated today for some reason. Maybe it's the fact that I've had 15 monsters and four hours of sleep. I don't know, but I don't know. It's oh, stop it! These were probably one of my most favorite decals I had made this year. Ever since I seen that tread documentary, I. Loved it. And then Whistling Diesel got his whole kill dozer thing going. And I thought it'd be awesome. These were actually designed for trucks. But now, now these ones right here, because I built it for that team, and that team never actually ran, I have a whole bunch that are A and a whole bunch that are B, just so they can drive together as a team. But I'm finally using the Killdozer decals that I bought. Guys, I should start a decal installing business. Look how easy this thing went on. These guys charge way too much for what they do. I'm just joking. But we got our decals on there. As far as I'm concerned, this thing is ready for the demolition derby. The only thing I'd like to do is put a new battery into it. Um, it does take a bit to start this one. It's always been like that. I don't know. I don't know. But what do you guys think? This thing will be hitting a junk run class near you. So stay tuned to see where it's going to run because it was quite fun building this one. I'm really hoping that it would do good you know because I have more of them so I'd like to see how this thing does in the future and uh, if it does good we build the other one if it does absolutely garbage we use the other one as a dumpster van it seems to be win-win that's for sure so thanks for watching guys and uh, we got our killdozer uh, door wraps on so thanks for watching guys see you back here later on Zach's workshop